We are in Chico at a California success story. Actually, Butte Creek is the California success story, and I am with Clint Garman. You are with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. What makes this creek a success story, Clint? Well, in terms of fish numbers, um, historically from about 1967 to 1991, we only averaged about 360 fish returning from the ocean into Butte Creek. And since the inception of the restoration projects involving lots of participants, we're averaging anywhere from uh, six to 8,000 per year. So that's a huge increase in numbers. You're obviously doing something right, <laughs> right here. What are the different projects that have contributed to that increase in the fish population? Sure, there's, lo there's lots of collaborative uh, stakeholders involved, um, anywhere from taking out dams to as what you see in the background, which is a fish screen to uh, keep little juvenile fish from being entrained and out, going out into the agricultural fields. And the idea is the, the water going downstream for ag use is fish friendly. And any fish that's caught in this ag ditch would go back out into the creek. And there's multiple projects like this from here on down through Butte Creek with over $50 million spent. Clint, why is it important to protect fish in this area? In the big picture, um, well, first of all, what, what different types of fish are you protecting? And quite frankly, why does it matter? Sure, the, the fish that we're most interested in here is the spring run Chinook salmon. Um, Butte Creek is one of only three creeks that still harbor a self-sustaining population. And it's important because they're, they're listed under the endangered species list. Um, it's under a big spotlight in California. This is the last best stronghold of spring run Chinook salmon left in the whole state of California. Right here at Butte Creek. Right here in Butte Creek. Wow, and you call it a tributary of the Sacramento River. Can you give us kind of a, a lesson on what that means? Sure, um, the headwaters of Butte Creek originate maybe 30 miles, up, 30 miles upstream of here. Um, and as Butte Creek comes down into the valley section, it, it runs about 90 miles and then it, it connects with the Sacramento River just upstream of where the Feather River comes into the sac. Okay. And that's how our returning adults make it back to Butte Creek. They come from the ocean find Butte Creek water, okay. and then swim up the creek and, and do their thing and spawn. So this is a very special area of water for salmon. Yes, these fish are honed in to return to Butte Creek and Butte Creek only. Um, we have very little strays in our spring run population. The drought obviously is impacting so many different things. And how is it impacting fish in the Butte Creek area? Well, in Butte, the drought has a profound effect on fish, obviously, because it's water and fish live in water. and when you have drought, you don't have a lot of water and water temperatures rise and these spring run Chinook salmon like cool, clean, cold water. And because they need to stay in the upper watershed of Butte Creek for up to six months before they spawn. So it's really imperative that they get, you know, cool water and the drought has definitely affected that. And we only have around 1500 fish returning this year because of that. It is the lowest returning number we've had since about 1997. Okay, wow. So that's, so you're doing everything you can to protect these fish. We're working collaboratively with fish agencies and PG&E managing the water in the system and it's a really tightly, you know, scrutinized and managed system and it's the department's utmost, you know, responsibility to keep these fish alive until spawning season.